example on rectangular cavity. In the previous two videos, we have studied the analysis of rectangular cavity resonator. Now we are going to present a numerical example about rectangular cavity. In this example, we say that we have a rectangular wave guide cavity is made from a piece of copper. This means that the conductivity of the metal is the conductivity of the copper. And this waveguide is WR187H band waveguide. WR is standard for the waveguide. And for example, WR90 is X band waveguide and is very common waveguide for microwave labs. WR187 has A equals 4.755 centimeters and B is 2.2. 215 centimeters. Uh, the cavity is filled with polyethylene. Polyethylene has a dielectric constant epsilon r equals 2.25 and loss tangent 10 delta equals 0 0.0004. And it is mentioned that if the resonance is to occur at frequency 5 gigahertz, so it is required to design a cavity resonator to be resonating at frequency 5 gigahertz. Find the required length D of this rectangular waveguide cavity and the resulting unloaded quality factor Q for the mood L equals 1 and the mood L equals 2. At the beginning we are going to calculate the propagation wave number inside the material which is filling the waveguide resonator or the waveguide cavity. So the value of K is omega square root mu epsilon which is 2 by multiplied by the frequency over C multiplied by square root epsilon R. And because mu R here is unity so the only term is square root epsilon. The frequency is 5 gigahertz. C is the wave speed at the, or the speed light. The speed of the light in free space which is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Epsilon r is 2.25. By calculating this, we can calculate the wave number inside the dielectric medium which is filling the cavity is 157.08 meter to the power minus 1. Now assuming that the proposed cavity or is TE10L mode, so M equals 1 and N equals 0, so the value of beta is the square root of k squared minus m by over a squared minus n by over b squared m here is 1 so by over a squared n is 0 so there is no by over ok the value of the distance d of the cavity resonator is l by over beta m n so for l equals 1 the required distance d of the waveguide it would be d equals by over k squared which we have already calculated minus by over a a here is 4.755 centimeter so in terms of meter it would be 4.755 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 and l equals 1 so this one multiplied by 1 in this case, for L equals 1 mode, the required distance D of the waveguide resonator will be 2.2 cm. On the other hand, for the mode L equals 2, this would be twice this value, because L here would be 2, so it would be 4.4 cm. Okay? Now, we have already designed the cavity resonator for mode L equals 1 and 
L equals to. The question now is, what is the unloaded quality factor for these two bits? To determine the quality factor, we say that the quality factor due to the conductor loss is given by KAD to the power 3 multiplied by B eta over 2 by squared multiplied by the surface resistance RS. This multiplied by 1 over 2L squared. L here is a mod. A cube B plus 2B B squared plus L squared A cube B plus A D cube. Actually, the value of A and B are 4.755 centimeters and B is 2.215 centimeters. The value of L is either 1 or 2. For L equals 1, the value of D is 2.2. For L equals 2, the value of D is 4.4. On the other hand, the value of K we have already calculated. It was 157.08 meters to the power minus 1. The surface resistance equals square root omega mu naught over 2 sigma and sigma here is a conductivity of the metal which is copper. For the case of copper, sigma equals 5.813 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 siemens per meter. According to the sigma and according to the operating frequency which is 5 GHz, omega it would be 2 multiplied by y multiplied by f. And the mu naught is the permeability of free space, which is 4 by multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. So we can calculate, can calculate the surface resistance, Rs, and it would be around 1.84 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 volts. Uh, on the other hand, eta here is the intrinsic impedance of the medium. Effectively, the intrinsic impedance is the intrinsic impedance of free space, uh, over square root epsilon r. So the intrinsic impedance of this base, which is 377 ohms, over square root epsilon r. This is epsilon r of the material, and epsilon r of the material, it was uh, 2.25. Okay. So from this, we can calculate the value of the intrinsic impedance of the medium inside uh, the cavity region. According to these values, we can calculate the quality factor due to the conductor loss for the mood L equals 1, and we found it as 8403. And for the mood L equals 2, the quality factor is 11,898. Okay. On the other hand, the quality factor due to the dielectric loss is actually 1 over 10 delta D, uh, which is 1 over the loss tangent, then, then delta. Uh, effectively, the dielectric uh, quality factor is independent on the size or the shape of the resonator. So it is a constant factor depending on the loss tangent of the material which is filling the cavity. So the quality factor due to the dielectric loss is 1 over 0. 0.0004 which is 2500. It can be noted here that the quality factor due to the conductor loss is much higher than the quality factor due to the dielectric loss. Or in other words, we can say that the power dissipated due to the conductor loss is much less than the power dissipated due to the dielectric loss. Now, we can calculate the total quality factor. In this case, the total quality factor, or the total unloaded quality factor, is 1 over 1 over QC plus 1 over QD. So, for the mode L equals 1, we are going to replace QC for mod L equals 1, which was 8,403. And for mod L equals 2, we are going to replace with uh, the quality factor due to the conductor loss at mod 2. And for the case of uh, the dielectric 
quality factor is the same for both species. According to this, we can find out that the unloaded quality factor, the total unloaded quality factor for the mood L equals 1 is 1927 and for mood L equals 2 is 2065. It can be noted here that the total unloaded quality factor is nearly the quality factor or quite close to the quality factor of the dielectric loss. Okay, and this means that the dominant effect in the total quality factor or the total unloaded quality factor is due to the quality factor due to the dielectric losses. So we say that note that the dielectric losses have the dominant effect on the quality factor, and higher quality factor can be obtained by using air field cavity. Air field effectively the advantage of air field cavity is that uh, the loss tangent of air is nearly zero. There is no losses in the air, especially if there is no humidity in uh, the air. Okay, so this is an example about uh, rectangular cavity. In the next video we are going to see uh, circular cavity. Alright.